doing what it takes to keep pursuing what it is that you believe in, to keep on asking more questions about what's going on, to keep on just, just digging deep with having a good understanding of why certain things come to you, why certain things are, 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 are away from you. My name is Mark Anthony DuBose Jr. and I was born July 4th, 1986. And today, I don't know what it is, but it's something to me, just come out here and just stare at these animals. Just what I do every day. Something that I've come to greatly appreciate. And, and I'm going to tell you, if, if, if you don't know what to do and you're not sure, and you're, in, you're in feeling like you don't, you don't know what kind of work I should pursue, what, what I should try to get into, I'm going to say put yourself in, in nature, for one, and put yourself around some animals. Because there's something that's just super fascinating about them that, that I just can't, I can't let it go. And that's the fact that they, they never let up. They're, they're always doing something. They're always doing and being on their mission. They're always focused and dialed in with doing what it is that they need to do. And, and, and for the majority of them, it seems like sometimes I would just sit out here and study and watch them. It's like, man, you're living in survival mode, though. Like, it kind of sucks. But in reality, they're not. They're living in the thriving and, and, and wanting to be blessed and moving on and, and being able to have an overabundance of what it is that they want, that they just continue to keep working and working and working and getting done what it is that they, that they want. That there's no such thing as just let's go stay in, in the tree as a bird and just not go fly around and go find something for the overabundance that's out there because I'm just... I'm not feeling it today. I'm, I'm feeling a little lazy today. I, I'm a little tired today. It's like they, they, they continuously keep going at it and they continuously keep doing some stuff. And it's just a very fascinating thing because it's, it's something that's just like a, a good to me to, to see, to know what it is that, that everything on this planet should be doing. Of staying busy, of staying dedicated with something, of learning more, of being able to have more, of being able to store up some more, be able to give out some more, being able to make sure that the next one is able to get more and be able to do more and be able to have something and be able to do anything. And it's something that a lot of us are, are just sitting around very confused with, not sure is what to do's and where to go's and how to be's. And, and for me, I'm just going to say, for one, just, just, get, just get outside and start watching some stuff. Get outside and start studying some stuff. You're not going to see it on the TV. You're not going to see it on your phone. You're not going to see it in no video games. You're not going to see it in, in none of that, no magazines. You, you're not. You're only going to see it person live with your eyes outside doing what it is that you're doing and being able to pay attention to focus on what it is that you're focusing on and just 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 studying it because there's something that i'm going to say is 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 like magical about everything that that is of nature outside because it's always doing what it what it's doing to be able to just keep on thriving to be better and and once you start to get a good understand understanding of that you start to get a better understanding of yourself and self with how is it that i'm going to be able to do that to make sure that i can be able to be on a on a successful way with my own self with what it is that I think of and what it is that I think about and, and, and being able to get in a better place. Because for me, in reality, majority of people that see what I do, hear about what I do, and get a good understanding about what it is that I do, they're just like, dude, you're going backwards. You're, 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 not, you're not progressing as far as what the, the norms and what everybody else out here wants. But for me, I just see an extreme amount of progression because it's been able to, to give me such life skills and life lessons to be able to experience something that not, not many people get to experience being able to process and have my own food, being able to take care and, and being able to, to manage how to figure out how to be able to cut all the grass down, how to be able to cut all the brush down, how to be able to take care of everything and, and being able to get it all done. It's been able to just amplify my life in a way that it's gotten me closer and closer to understanding who and what God is all about because he created this and this is all alive and this is all living and this is all changing, this is all shifting, this is all doing, doing what it's doing. And it's exactly what we as humans are, that we should never be at a stagnant point, that we should be constantly working on how do I get better? How do I gain more? How do I keep on cruising? How can I help that person out even more? How can I make sure that we can start changing up some things so that we can be able to have a, a nice, more peaceful life on this planet? And that's something that when I speak of, of change and, and, and that in a way, it's not, it's not a way of trying to go in and, and change the world because that's, that's not something that you're ever going to be able to do in reality and as much as it sucks and as much as I don't like that and as much as I even want to say that there's some things out here that I just don't appreciate. But at the same time, the things that I don't appreciate that I would want to change is someone else that was not going to appreciate my appreciation and then they're going to start battling. We're just always going to keep doing that because that's just the foundation of what human beings are. And since that's the foundation of who we are, we need to figure out how to be able to just maintain and be out here. And it's something that I've come to really notice with with majority of everything out here. They, they, they do their own thing. They're not focused on like, that's mine and let me go take that. That's over there and that's, I'm going to take that. No, they figure out how to be able to work in unison, even though they may not like each other, even though they may be scared of each other, even though they know for a fact that another one is going to be able to damage them. They still live in this, this level of harmony where it's just this nice little balance. And that's something that for farms today is kind of in reality going away. Everything is kind of one species, a, a, a one animal, a one plant. And, and there's not the all and the overabundance of having every little thing. Because a lot of times in reality, 
there are fights up front. There are strifes up front. There are issues up front. But then that's for when I come in as a as the manager and where I would say God comes into us as a people, as a manager, to be able to uh, uh, fix us, separate, separate us, be able to guide us, be able to give us some understanding on how to be able to do what it is that we need to do so that we're no longer in this high level of fight. And once you start to rely upon something much greater than yourself, then you're going to start having this such desire inside of you to just want to fight and battle and bicker and just 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 complain so much and just, just be in such a... Uh, a negative hostile type of way knowing that the chicken don't like the cow and the cow don't like the donkey and the donkey don't like the pig and, and everything just goes wrong along with that but if i come in and i say to the pig you stay over there and you're good to go if i come to the donkey and say you staying over here you're good to go the cows y'all are over there you're good to go and if y'all pass each other there is it, it's just it's just stay on your mission and do what you got to do and and then there's an absolute level of peace even though they all don't like each other, even though they all don't get along with each other, they don't hang out with each other, they don't eat with each other, they don't sleep with each other, they don't do any of that because they don't like each other in reality. But because they have something and somebody that's able to, to communicate to them, just leave them alone and do what you got to do. Leave them alone and do what you got to do. It's such an absolute blessing of just peace. And that's something that, that I want more and more of us to just start to really think more about, of putting all your energy into something and, and realizing that you're not creating peace, but you're creating just, just havoc and, and just destruction because we're trying to put ourselves into something that we shouldn't be. The pig should not put his, his life into what the donkey is doing. He just shouldn't be. They're, they're on two completely different missions on this life. They got two completely different things that they want to do. They got two different, completely different belief systems that they're all about. And it's not for either, either or of them to tell either or of them that you're wrong and you're not right. It, it, it's for each, to, uh, each of their own to just say, we're good to go, man. And, and we, as long as we understand that you're there, I'm here, and even if we are together, that you can still be good side by side, right next to each other within the same house. And it's something that, that I think is just so powerful on, on having a good understanding of knowing that there's just this, this crazy stuff that goes on today where majority of Bible believers and, and, and Quran believers and everything is, is y'all are out here trying to force people to do and force people to be and force people to have, have an idea. And that's something for me that I, 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 I see that. I get it. I get it a little bit in my brain. But sometimes my, my inner dialogue can come out. And then my inner dialogue's got to stay in because, you know, what? at the end of the day, I'm still a human being. And being a human being, I'm not going to be perfect with absolutely everything. But I've understood as a human being and, and getting closer and closer to understanding uh, uh, my Bible and understanding Jesus in, in, a, in, a, in a more more compassionate way is I got to do what I got to do. And, and someone else has to do what they have to do. That, that if you, you, you want and like what you have and it's being able to give you the success that you have, and stay at that. But I, I got to keep on doing what I'm doing. And I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to uh, 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 beat you down. I'm not going to destroy you. I'm not going to burn your village down. I'm not, I'm not going to do any of that. And it's something that a lot of people really need to start reading our books a little bit more. No, just the Bible. I'm telling you, the Quran set up interesting. But uh, we need to start reading that more and understanding that there's no reason to start creating and having division. Everything is about being able to just live in, in a sort of peace of knowing that j they could do that over there and I, we got to do this over here and not trying to uh, get into the middle of thinking that you're going to be that one that's going to be able to change and transform and get everybody to be on what it is that you do because you have the one. Because in reality, at the end of the day, nobody actually really even knows what it is good. And nobody knows because no, no one, nothing's ever been revealed to us. And it's something that I can say as simple as I know every single human being is different in a way of we all don't have the same diet. So if we all can't have and maintain the same diet to be able to get the same results, there's something already different about who we are because what you eat is going to be able to give you your spiritual essence in reality. Because what it is that I do out here with what I take care of, someone uh, just can't do that. Your body can't function with that. You can't eat meat where I eat primarily like 90, 95 percent meat, eggs and, and dairy. And I, and I can I function so dang good on that. And it's just it's, it just it just really energizes me. But the next person can't handle that. So that's something that I can say exactly with what it is that I believe in, that it, it's 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 functioning and does so good for me. It gets me just completely filled up and completely fulfilled. It's just 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 awesome, and amazing and energized and ready to go and ready to get stuff done. But for somebody else, it, it might shut you down. It, it might slow you back. It might it might get you get you in a, in a very, very sticky situation because there's, there's a lot of that that goes on. There's some pres prescript drugs and medications and cold medications that some people take and it gets you tired. Some people take it and it gets you excited. Coffee, some people take it and they get tired. Other people take it and they get they get energized. There's, 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 there is a difference out here and I know that for sure. 
And that's something for me to be able to just really humble me even more. And especially today, just humble me of knowing that not everything has to be the same. Not everybody has to be on the same mission. Not everybody is going to be able to do the same thing. And, and, and you want to do you, then do that. And I'm going to do me and I'm going to do that. And then someone else wants to do that and then they're going to go ahead and do that. And, and it's not for any of us to try to come at each other with any sort of hate and any sort of just, just destruction on I, I got to harm you, hurt you physically and mentally and everything to be able to just force you to do what it is that I do. That, that, that is way too much. And, and there's none, none of us out here that can be able to handle that. Because that's, in reality, just what I see today. And that's why we have so much fighting going on. We got so much fighting because someone's getting into the middle and dabbling into something that, in reality, they know nothing about. And they have no information on. They just heard a one little thing and, and a one little clip, clip, and they're just like, oh, that irritated me. And then you're just on board with trying to, to fight and, and do, do go, go to battle and all of that. But it's like, hey, you don't even know what's going on. And with that, man, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. God, thank you for today has been a very interesting day, a, a, a first day of a... a uh, a first day, first day I'm going to say that I've that I've ever been able to experience in my life and it's something that that has really taught me a lot about who I am and what I am and, and what I'm capable of doing and what it is that I know that I need to keep on doing and keep on focusing on and keep on pursuing and keep pushing and and knowing that that it's just it's 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 something amazing out here there's something just extremely special out here there's something that is just it, it just just phenomenal out here that is just amazing to be around and, and just amazing to be able to continue to keep doing that. I, I want to be able to, to share the amazing things that I see and that I do to, to more and more people, but I'm not going to sit here and have to force you to want to do this. This, this, this is something that I'm going to say is a luxury today. And it's a luxury in reality in almost the entire world. And it's something that may not be the luxury that you see as luxury, where you see luxury as, as, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what anything else is because my mind is kind of in reality stuck stuck in this and seeing the the, be the the beauty and the joy of what it is that I'm able to do out here. And, and something about just even standing here and seeing the sun come out the clouds and just hit me in my face and getting that warmness is is just is just special. It, it's it's just absolutely spectacular. And for me, just being out here and being able to, to expose myself closer to it has been able to just really, really change and transform my life into a, a, a very interesting place that I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more aware of what I'm capable of. I'm becoming more aware of what I can be able to do for other people. I'm becoming more aware of being able to make sure that I have more knowledge behind me and more understanding behind me to make sure that I'm not uh, trying to harm anybody, but all I want to do is just keep on trying to help some people. And also at the same time, just, just being thankful that the things that come to me, that when I'm like, man, I, I, I kind of want a little bit of that, and then it just comes to me. Man, I need this because I'm, I, I want something from that. It just, it just comes to me. And the things just keep continuously coming to me that I just, I have to greatly appreciate that. And I appreciate that because it's, it, it must be something that I'm doing, that, that, I, that I'm doing, I'm doing, say, in the right way to be able to keep being able to have and keep being able to be around the things that I'm, that I'm around. And, and it only keeps getting better. And it's something that I'm, I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful to be able to have the opportunity to be able to be here, to be able to be alive, not even just here in this property, but being able to be alive, to be able to have a chance, to be able to do something that I, I don't know what, what lottery ticket I won when I was born, to be born where I was born and be, be able to continue to be in the place that I'm in. But I know for a fact that I'm going to take full advantage of it and do everything in my power to make sure that the, the gifts and the, 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 the things that I'm really good at, it, I'm going to be able to figure out how to be able to spread to more and more people that are, that are not able to have and be able to do what it is that I'm able to do. Man, I just want to say thank you.